All right, hi everyone and welcome to the video. In this video, I will be talking about Docker automation, how you can write, uh, how you can come up basically bash, bash script into a REST APIs basically in Python. So what I mean by that is, uh, let's say you wanna do health check in Docker and you wanna make your own REST API. So whenever you uh, hit that endpoint, you get basically the health check of the cluster or the container. Uh, in Python, of course. How do I do that? All right, let's get straight back into action. I'm gonna show you a small demo. I'll be using bash scripting for this. So I'll be using Python, of course, but let's start. So I'm gonna say, so some sort of process import call. Then I'm gonna say, All right, and uh, let me see, what else do I need? So from Flask, Flask, let's do this. I'm gonna define an app. Okay, forgot an import here. Okay, uh, then one more thing that I need is basically I would be doing Flask REST API, so okay, done. Now I'm gonna define my app API. Now let us define a very simple route, a get request. Now I'll be using the bash scripts. It's very simple, okay. I'm just doing very simple uh, stuff. Uh, process dot run and let's say I wanna run the command. Docker run and the container name of course. Let me just copy this. I'm, it's easy. Now I gotta give come certain commands here or arguments. Shell to check to stood out. Okay, so this will basically give me the data from the standard out. Now what I'll do is basically I'll store it in a, in a variable. Result dot standard out. Then I would say result I'm gonna decode it because this is gonna be a byte data, right? So I would say decode, decode is as fuck, UDF8. <sighs> Simple things. Yep, so now what I'll do is basically, I would do json.load s, because that's, what, that's gonna be an ugly string. So I will do a json load, and then after once the json load is done, I'm gonna return this in an API. So return, fuck, return json.dump results in then three. That's it, done. Okay, so looks good, right? Now the last thing, just gotta define a route. So change it, whatever command you wanna add, add, just add it here for Docker health check, okay? So why the hell is giving me squiggly lines? Did I miss anything? No. Okay, it takes time, <laughs> computers. It's rolling, am I recording? Yeah, I am. 
I forget stuff. So, so if I go to the foo route, it should basically work. So let's say Python, what is this API? Let's do DURS, where am I? CD2, CLS, um, let's do DURS. Okay, I'm in the file, Python, API, PY. Should be running. So, time for the truth. It might take time, okay? So, do keep this in mind, okay? Yeah, it might take time, okay? So, yeah, be patient, okay? Don't be uh, like, it's pretty slow and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, of course you can do that, like do threading and all of that if you want, like if you really consider about performance. Yeah, hopefully should return the JSON response. It takes a while because I'm recording also. Here you see. That's the entire JSON response uh, for that um, API, for that cluster, I can show you. Some formatter. Easy man, piece of cake. That's an API. So here you can see, oops. Actually, I should have done like this. Instead of indent, I should remove that indent. Yeah. That's that, that, that'll be a little better, I think. Yeah, so that's your API. Do whatever you want, play with it. Um, you can do complicated Docker uh, APIs. You can create for health check, automation, whenever it stops, and uh, email, or do whatever you want. All of this, that, and so. Yeah, so that's your uh, entire JSON data. You can um, extract information from it and stuff like that. So. That's it for uh, this video. Uh, hope you have enjoyed this uh, quick uh, tutorial on Docker automation. Uh, let me actually also pull it here. Ah, come on. Copy, paste. So if I do this, you see I get JSON response of that entire Docker image. How is it like health, volume and all of that. So yeah, please feel free to uh, modify this code, play with it, do whatever you want. Um, that's it for this video. Hope you have enjoyed it and see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.